All right, guys, welcome back to part two of the SK6808 Series 3 System Test 1. Now we're going to go ahead and activate the yellow pool station for the supervisory. Here we go in three, two, one. that reset. Now we're going to go ahead and activate the CO detector. Here we go. All right, and finally we're going to go ahead and activate the duct detector. Now first I'm going to go ahead and um Activate it using the key switch in five, four, three, two, one. And now we're going to activate it again using the resets button. Here we go. All right, and finally, we cannot forget to activate the head using the smoke saber. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now in three, two, one. All right, now we're done with the walk test. Now we're gonna go ahead and go back and put the panel bank into normal mode. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the main menu again. Enter the passcode, which I cannot show y'all. Gonna go to system test again walk test and we're just going to press enter to end the walk test and the modules were starting to blink again all right systems now reset and now to start the bell test we're going to activate the heat detector using the hair dryer since i have not done this on video yet okay now we're going to go ahead and activate the heat detector again using the hair dryer and the leds will turn steady red here we go in three, two, one. Here we go. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? The signal you have just heard indicates a report of a fire in this building. Please proceed to the nearest exit and leave the building. Do not re-enter the building unless directed to do so by the proper authorities. And as you can see, when I press the silence button on the panel, the strobe continues to flash. Now, thanks to my new panel, I am able to silence the voice evac now, but keep the strobe going. And the strobe is on the strobe circuit, which is connected to a control module right here in the panel. And I have the 
force of act trigger hooked up to one of the panel relays programmed as silenceable. So I'm glad I'm able to silence the voice of act now. Now we're just going to go ahead and hit system reset. All right, let's do another, a full supervisory test. And you'll see that monitor module turn steady red when I activate a supervisory device. So we're gonna go ahead and activate the CO detector. And I'm gonna also spray some of this right up here to make it beep rapidly. Here we go. So first I'm just gonna go ahead and put it into test mode. In three, two, one. As you can see, no audible silence on the alert commander this time. Since I have it set to two-wire operation by another control module that's in the panel. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and hit system reset on the panel again. And before we end the system test, let's go ahead and make another announcement, as usual, over the microphone, saying that we have finished the system test. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? We have finished testing the life and safety system at this time. If you hear any signals from this point forward, please evacuate to your nearest assembly point. Again, we have finished testing the life and safety system at this time. If you hear any signals from this point forward, please evacuate to your nearest assembly point. Thank you for your cooperation and have a great day. Alright, this is going to do it for System Test Number 1, Series 3 of my new Silent Night SK6808 system, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day, and I will see y'all in the next video.